Hello and welcome to Mr. Garrison's U.S. History class. I'm Mr. Garrison and I'm going to be your teacher for this semester. This is a remote U.S. history class. It will be remote for the entire semester. So uh, things will be different than maybe what you're used to, uh, but I promise you they're different for, <clears throat> excuse me, they're different for me as well. Uh, and uh, we can work together to get ourselves through this, you know, unique time. So uh, what is this class? Well, uh, it is U.S. history and we are going to be studying, uh, you know, the kind of first half of American history. So uh, we're going to cover things from the Washington administration and the origin of American politics uh, all the way through industrialization. So uh, we're going to be covering, you know, all types of different aspects of American history, uh, the social context, uh, the political context, the military context, the economic context of all the things that happened kind of in the first half. Uh, we'll cover, like I said, the origin of American politics, uh, the age of uh, Jackson, Manifest Destiny, the Civil War, industrialization, uh, among many other topics. Uh, grades in this class, pretty standard. Uh, the uh, grading scales, your standard 90, 80, 70, 60. Uh, this class is required for graduation, so you must pass it to graduate. So it's important that you stay on top of things in this class. Uh, your grades are going to be compromised of several different types of assignments. Uh, first are your notes. Uh, it's the, one of the most important things that you can do for this class is uh, take notes. Uh, there's going to be, you know, quite a few video lectures similar to the one you're listening to now. Uh, there'll be a PowerPoint, uh, kind of like you're looking at right now. Uh, it's going to be your responsibility to uh, to take those notes. The notes are what is going to make up. Uh, you're gonna have to do different note summaries uh, for uh, homework assignments. There's, uh, you know, gonna be different types of ways that we do that. We'll discuss that at a later time. Uh, but your tests and quizzes will all be based on the information from those notes. Uh, we'll have discussion questions uh, for those notes as well. Uh, different homework assignments, kind of traditional homework assignments as well. Uh, you know, read this article, answer these questions. Uh, most of those will be done through Google Docs. So, uh, you know, you'll, you'll answer those questions and then share that document with me. There will be one paper. It's going to be a DBQ research paper. That is going to be probably the, uh, besides the final, probably the biggest assignment. It'll be worth about a test grade that uh, I'll walk you through that. We'll spend a lot of time on it. Believe me, you'll have plenty of time to be able to do it. Uh, but I will tell you this, uh, you know, in past years, uh, the, the kids that did not turn in this assignment found it very, very difficult to be able to uh, pass the class. So uh, when we get to the paper, and we're going to get to it relatively early in the semester, the, the second unit is when we're going to start writing this paper. So we're going we're gonna to knock it out, get it out of the way early. Uh, but the, if, if you don't get that assignment done, it's worth so many points, uh, it makes the rest of the semester very difficult to, uh, to, to be successful. On the other hand, if you do it and do a good job on it, uh, it really sets you up in a position for, uh, for success. And, and like I said, don't get nervous about that. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through it. We'll, we'll give you plenty of time to be able to work on it. There'll be rough drafts and, and you know, we'll, I'll make sure the expectations are very, very clear for what you need to do. And it's not a super long paper. It's just going to be five paragraphs. So, you know, you're talking a, a page and a half for, for most people that that's not a big, uh, not a big paper. Uh, there will be tests. Uh, those tests are going to range in form. Uh, some of them might be Google forms. Uh, some of them might be essay and uh, some of them might be a, little bit uh, more uh, non-traditional, maybe, you know, video uh, summaries and, and things of that nature. So uh, we're going to, you know, really kind of, you know, because this is everybody's first time taking a full remote, full semester class. It's my first time teaching it. Uh, you know, we're going to kind of see what works, uh, but expect, you know, kind of uh, Google Forms, expect you know, essays and uh, expect maybe some, uh, you know, kind of video summary uh, things for, for the tests. Uh, and then there'll be a final. The final 
will be uh, you will be creating a, an online portfolio uh, through Google Sites. Uh, it's not it's technically Google Sites is very easy to use. It should not be difficult to to actually create the website. This isn't like a technology class, so you know we're we're gonna make that really simple. You're just gonna have to upload work throughout the semester. So save all your homework assignments because like the paper is gonna be a part of your portfolio. So that's you know it's gonna be graded twice. It's gonna be graded as just the paper and then in your portfolio it's going to be a portion of that grade uh you know some of the the video summaries that you're going to do are going to end up in your portfolio and so the the final if you keep up with the work throughout the semester uh, and build your portfolio as you're going along uh, the final really should be relatively straightforward <clears throat> you'll just have to you know at the end tweak a few things and then hit submit so uh, i think you should be pretty excited about that so uh, if you keep up with the work uh, the the final should be kind of really one of the easier parts of the the semester so uh, those are the grades this is your textbook it's uh the um, just american history uh textbook you you did not get this at registration so don't freak out if you're like well i don't have that textbook uh that's no big deal it is an online textbook so uh you can just go to hmhco.com backslash one uh the address is right there if you go to that website you just log in using your school email address and your school password uh, and then you know uh you might have some reading assignments through uh that uh, you might have some reading assignments through that website. You might have some videos that you need to watch uh, on that, that website. Uh, I'll let you know as we go. I don't follow the textbook in this class, like chapter by chapter. Uh, yeah, I just, that's not how I, uh, I do things, uh, but you are going to want to be able, it's a good supplement for the the lectures and assignments that you're going to get throughout the year so uh make sure i would suggest to you sometime today you know fiddle around and see if you can get on it i can tell you as of just a couple of days ago the website was overloaded i think you know the country's in a situation where every u.s history class is trying to use these online textbooks and the system just isn't set up to handle that uh so hopefully they'll have those kinks worked out by the time you're watching this video they will definitely have those kinks worked out sometime soon uh but if you try to log on tomorrow or today and you find that you can't uh don't panic uh what you'll want to do is you'll want to contact uh, and email the e-learning uh belleville 201 e-learning uh you know tech advisors and and they'll they'll set you up i'll give you that email address a little bit later on uh during this presentation so any technology questions that you struggle with there's uh district 201 has a system set up for you to get answers uh, you can try and contact me, but um, you know I'm I'm not the IT guy. Uh, most likely, I'll just send you on to the school's tech group. So that's the book. Check it out when you have a second. Familiarize yourself with it, uh, just so when there is an assignment, you're kind of uh, already acclimated to it and can uh, you know uh, be successful. All right. So if you have questions and you need to contact me, uh, these are my office hours. So. Um, my, you know, in reality, uh, I will be pretty much available from 8.30 to 3.30 every single school day. Uh, and, oops, sorry. You know, uh, but the school has suggested that we make sure you know generally when we're going to eat lunch. Uh, so if you uh, take a look at my office hours, uh, I am available from 8.30 to 11.30 through email and Google Hangouts. I plan to use that time for lesson prep and, and grading. And so uh, I will be, you know, in my office, uh, you know, and ready to answer emails or uh, questions through Google Hangouts. Those are generally the two best way to get a hold of me through email or Hangouts. Um, during that time period, I should be able to respond to you within about 30 minutes. Uh, you know, I, because I'm a fully remote teacher, I have, you know, right around 200 students. Uh, so if you all try and contact me at one time, it might take me more than 30 minutes, but the goal is to uh, respond to you within 30 minutes. Uh, from 1130 to 1230, that's when I plan on having lunch. Uh, so I may not respond to you during that time, uh, but I will get to you as soon as I get back. Uh, from 1230 uh, to 130, 
Uh, I am available for questions through email or Google Hangouts, but I also plan to set that side of time, uh, that time aside for individual online meetings. So if you would like to video conference with me through Google Meets, uh, I will be more happy, I'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, you just need to email me ahead of time to set up a, an appointment to be able to do that. Uh, generally speaking, I'll, I'll be able to give you about 10 minutes for uh, questions. Uh, you know, if you are struggling with a concept, you know, I, I imagine once we get to the paper, some people might have questions about exactly, you know, uh, what it is that that's expected. So if you, if you have, those kind of questions where you know it just be easier to talk face to face uh 12 30 to 1 30 will will be that time uh and like i said just reach out to me through email and i'll, I'll schedule you in there uh, and then from 1 30 to 3 30 uh, i will own <coughs> excuse me only be available through email and google hangouts uh so if you want to do a google meet or you know if you try and call the school uh to, to talk with me I, I won't be available for that so it'll just be uh, email google hangouts and same concept uh i'm going to attempt to get back to you within 30 minutes and i think that should be reasonable uh don't hesitate to reach out and uh, ask questions you know this is new for all of us and and you know I, I i might think that i've been clear in the instructions on an assignment and i might have totally failed in that and you know in a classroom i could just look at your faces and see oh yeah they don't understand what i meant and can adjust we can't do that in this environment so if you uh you know if i'm being unclear or you're struggling with something you know please feel free uh to reach out google email or google email or uh, Google Hangouts. Generally speaking, uh, I check my email uh, more often than Google Hangouts, but I, I, I do check my Google Hangouts. So uh, what is my email address? It's right down there. Uh, it's rgarrison at bths at, uh, at bths201.org. So you know that that's the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a quick email. I'll respond pretty quick. Uh, for Google Hangouts, either search for Rob Garrison or uh, type in my email address, and it should pop up. Uh, I've got my notifications turned on, so you know I, I should be able to respond relatively uh, relatively quickly. All right. So now. How is class going to be organized? Where do you need to be checking for assignments and for lessons? Well, uh, all of that, everything is going to be on Google Classroom. So the school has set you up with a Google Classroom account. They've already enrolled you in my class. I see the roster already. Uh, every day I will be posting, every day that we have school, I should say, so Monday through Friday and minus any holidays, uh, I will be posting a lesson on Google Classroom. And so you should expect something every single day from me. Um, it might be a video lecture, it might be a reading assignment, it could be, you know, any number of, of things, but there will be something posted every morning. So what I would suggest to you is turn on your notifications on your phone uh, to make sure that anytime there's an update, you'll get it. Uh, I might contact you and send a message through Google Classroom, you know, later in the afternoon. I'll try not to send anything after 3.30. I think it's important for both you and I that we have a clear, clearly defined workday. Uh, but there may be something that I think about that I send later, but it'll never be a lesson or a change in a due date or anything like that. It, it'll just be a reminder like, hey, we got to test tomorrow, make sure you study tonight. Uh, so, uh, mostly you can expect the posting to be happening between uh, 8.30 and 9.30 in the morning. I'm going to make every attempt to post things at 8.30 so you have as much time as possible uh, to, to work on things. Sometimes you'll be asked to work on your own and not turn anything in. Other times it will be, you know, listen to this lecture, write a summary or read this article and you know, answer these questions. Uh, generally speaking, the due dates for things will be the following day. So you'll have a full 24 hours uh, to work on things. Sometimes it'll be a larger assignment and you'll get more time for that. Uh, I'll let you know. All of that will be on Google Classroom. Um, you can expect two or three assignments to be due every week. Uh, you know, there'll be some assignments like when we're working on our paper, uh, that the paper's the only thing we work on. 
Uh, and so, you know, we'll, I'll try and keep the load to where, you know, uh, a full day of U.S. history is, you know, between 40 minutes and an hour uh, worth of uh, worth of stuff. So all of that's on uh, Google Classroom. Some really important stuff I might email to you, but if I email it to you, there'll also be a Google Classroom post as well. And if I'm emailing it to you, that means I'm probably also emailing it to your parents. Uh, that's why I would be using the email. So uh, I'll use that occasionally, uh, but you know, so check your email daily. You should definitely be checking your email daily, but you know, the, the number one way I'm gonna reach out to you is through uh, Google Classroom. So uh, technology, this is a remote learning class. So you have signed up for it. The uh, district has assigned Google Chromebooks. So there's kind of an expectation that you're gonna have a certain amount of technology available to you. Um, <clears throat> I've really decided because I think, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, I have something in my throat. Uh, I've really decided that I'm not gonna try and overwhelm you with technology stuff. Uh, that's for your benefit and for my benefit. I think we're all kind of brand new technologies here. And, you know, if you have five teachers and every teacher is using, you know, five different apps and programs, and that means you've got 25 different things you have to learn, plus the school information. I don't want to overwhelm you with that stuff. Uh, plus, I'm kind of old school and I'm not super familiar with it. So we're going to try and keep things as simple as possible. Uh, you should be your juniors. You should be familiar with Google Classroom. So uh, all instruction will be posted through Google Classroom. Like I said, check daily, turn on your uh, notifications. Uh, we will be using, uh, you know, a lot of the homework assignments and articles will be Google Docs. Uh, not all of the things because not all of the uh, like articles that we need to read and, and do are compatible with Google Docs. So sometimes there'll be you know PDF files or whatnot, but mostly we're gonna use Google Docs. So make sure you're familiar with uh, Google Docs and how to share that uh, information with me. If you have questions about that, you can contact the people at eLearning. That email is right down there at the bottom of uh, this uh, slide. Uh, some of the smaller quizzes will be uh, Google Forms. You know, uh, there'll be some multiple cho choice stuff. You know, there's not going to be a lot of tests that are Google Forms just because it's too easy to, to cheat on things like that. So the test will be a little bit more non-traditional in here. Uh, but we will use Google Forms, um, you know, quite a bit. And then uh, Google Sites. Uh, Google Sites is the build your website. That's how you're going to make your uh, portfolio. Uh, that's the only time we're going to use that. Uh, but because it is your final, it's going to be important that you familiarize yourself with that. Uh, your school email, uh, you know, you guys are juniors. You've had a school email for a long time, so make sure you're familiar with that. Uh, important information will be shared through that. As a matter of fact, this video was shared through that as well as the Google Classroom. Um, that's kind of how I'm going to contact you and your parents. Uh, so uh, what I would suggest is, you know, your school email is going to come to you. Uh, what I would suggest is make sure that your parents' emails are the correct emails uh, in SIS. Uh, make sure that because that way they'll get information from me as well. If it's wrong in SIS, uh, I'm not going to be able to get a hold of them. So uh, please uh, make sure that that information is correct. And then we're also going to be using Flipgrid. Some of you might be familiar with that. Uh, some of you might not be, uh, but well, we will be using that. I'll give you instructions on how to uh, use Flipgrid shortly. Uh, it's something that we're going to be using uh, quite a bit. Uh, and it's just a video recording program. Uh, you know, it might, uh, some of the assignments will be listen to this lecture, make sure you take notes, and then provide me with a one minute video summary of the most important thing that we discussed today or something along those lines. Uh, it'll be a really easy way for you to summarize uh, the information that we've discussed to make sure that I know that you've learned it without having to constantly be writing papers because that's the alternative. Uh, and so, uh, you know, that I think that'll be uh, easier on you. But because it is a video recording uh, you know, program, you are going to have to make sure that you do have a webcam. So if you're using your parents' desktop, uh, make sure you, you have a webcam. If you don't, the district will provide some. Uh, so uh, you'll need to contact them. Uh, but, you know, you can also get a Chromebook. The school did hand out Chromebooks. So uh, the Chromebooks do have webcams. 
So if you don't have a webcam or don't have a Chromebook, uh, like I said, contact eLearning at bths201.org and they'll make sure that they get you uh, that equipment. Also, that's the website that you email if you have any technology questions. So if you can't log on to the book or you're struggling with, you know, uh, checking your grades in SIS or things like that, you can contact me, but I'm probably just going to flip it to you with this, uh, with this email address. So uh, be, be familiar with that email address. Write it down on a sticky note, put it on your laptop and, and keep it there uh, for reference later. All right, uh, that concludes the syllabus. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me uh, an email. Uh, I really look forward to this semester with you guys. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's weird then that you're not gonna, we're, you know, we're not gonna have a traditional classroom. I'm not gonna get to joke around like I normally like to, and we're not gonna be able to, to build traditional relationships, but hopefully through using uh, programs like Flipgrid uh, and, you know, uh, meeting up on Google Meets, we'll be able to, you know, uh, establish some sort of relationship and we'll get to know each other. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, I'll be available from 8.30 to 3.30 pretty much every day. Uh, have a good day and good luck this semester.